Uh, hello guys and of course welcome to another uh, episode of our jump syllabus series okay today we're looking at this jump syllabus for physics okay the topics you are supposed to focus on as it relate to your physics what examination in jam all right so i think jump syllabus has to be the the most bulky uh uh syllabus all right for all subjects all i think if i'm not mistaken all subjects okay because in jam physics you need to study 39 topics 39 topics okay among the science subjects this this is i think the most bulky the, the most bulky all right so uh you need to worry not of time right so you, that's why you need to start early okay so some of you underestimate the importance of starting early i will start january i will start march i will start one week to exam i will start one month to exam starting is starting okay nobody is telling you not to start whenever you want to start but add some advice okay I, as the so as the commander of this army, I'm advising you start very very early. You have no time to waste at all. Okay, like for jam physics, all right, 39 topics. So I want to what study as related to jam what physics, and you can do this. I mean, within a month plus, you can if you take one topic a day, you can finish for the whole of jam physics. But you know that physics is also very very bulky too. Okay, so each topic has its own has its own roots. Okay, it's very very widespread roots. So you need to really Pay your attention to what to what to the topics. All right, so let us uh, let us continue. So the general objective for the jam physics syllabus is uh, uh, the aim of the UTM syllabus in physics is to prepare the candidate for the board examination. It is designed to test the achievement of the course objective, which are to sustain the, their interest in physics, develop attitude relevant to physics that encourage accuracy precision and objectivity, interpret physical phenomena, laws, definitions, concepts, and other theories, demonstrate the ability to solve correctly physics problems using relevant theories and concepts. So let us see the details syllabus. All right, so number one, measurement and units. That is the first topic that we were taught in physics, okay? So talk, no, you have to know, know length, area, and volume, meter, row, linear, caliper, micrometer, speed gauge, Measuring cylinder, B, talk about mass, C, talk about time, D, fundamental physical quantities, E, derived uh, physical quantities and their units, F, dimensions, okay? So, especially in this part, you need to work, pay attention to dimension very, very well. It's very, very important, okay? Dimensions, okay? At the words, uh, uh, do what uh, dimension of what of, of, of physical quantities. Then G, limitations of experimental measurements, okay? That's accuracy of measuring instruments, simple estimation of errors, significant figures, and standard form, which I've done in your mathematics, okay? So you can check our math class for all of that. Then uh, H, measurement, position, distance, and displacement. That's concept of displacement. Distinction between distance and displacement, concept of position and coordinate, frame of reference. Number two, scalars and vectors. Uh, definition of scalars and vector quantities, example of scalar and vector quantities, relative velocity, resolution of vectors into two perpendicular directions, including graphical methods of solution. Then number three, we talk about motion. In motion, talk about types of motion, translational, oscillatory, rotational, spin, and random. B, relative motion. C, causes of motion. D, types of force, that is contact and force speed. E, linear motion speed, velocity, and acceleration, two equations of uniformly accelerated motion, three, motion under gravity, distance time graph and velocity time graph, instantaneous velocity and acceleration. F, we talk about projectiles, that's calculation of range, maximum height, and time of flight from the ground and a height. Then also we talk about applications of projectile motions. Then G, we talk about Newton's law of motion, inertia, mass, and force. Uh, relationship between mass and acceleration, impulse and momentum, as you can see, uh, first time graph, conservation of linear momentum, that is coefficient of restitution, not necessary, okay? We're talking about coefficient of restitution. It's not necessary in this world. In this, you can see, that's what a syllable will tell you. Don't look at this part. Don't look at this part. This is, this is the part you should focus on, okay? So uh, we have been told here that coefficient of restitution is not necessary at this level. The motion in a circle, Angular velocity and angular acceleration, centripetal and centrifugal forces, and their applications. I right, simple harmonic motion, SHM. You see, all this in the world, all these would are all tip topics in what in physics. Then one definition and explanation of simple harmonic motion, examples of systems that execute SHM, period, frequency, and amplitude of simple harmonic motion. Uh, for velocity and acceleration of SHM, simple treatment of energy change in SHM. Force, vibration, and resonance. 
simple treatment. Then number four, gravitational field. This is the part where physics becomes very, very interesting. Newton's law of universal gravitation, gravitational potential, conservative and non-conservative field, acceleration due to gravity, variation of G, okay, of gravity on the Earth's surface, distinction between mass and weight, escape velocity, packing of it, and weightlessness. Number five, we talk about equilibrium of forces, the equilibrium of particles, equilibrium of coplanar forces, triangles and polygons of forces, Lamy's theorem. All right, then B, you talk about principles of moment, the moment of a force, simple treatment, and moment of a couple, that's talk, and the applications. Then C, we talk about conditions for equilibrium and rigid bodies under the action of parallel and non parallel forces. Then we want to talk about resolution and composition of forces in two perpendicular directions, two resultant and equilibrant. D, we talk about center of gravity and stability that is stable, unstable, and neutral equilibrium. Then six, work energy and power. Definition of work energy and power, forms of energy, conservation of energy, qualitative treatment between different forms of energy, interpretation of area under the first distance graph. Then B, we talk about energy and society, that sources of energy, renewable, renewable and non-renewable energies, sources that are coal, crude, okay? And the likes, the uses of energy and energy development, energy diversification, environmental impact of energy, the global warming, greenhouse effect and spillage, energy, energy right crisis, uh, conservation of energy, devices used in energy production. Then talk about dams and energy production, location of dams, energy production, uh, nuclear energy, solar energy. Number seven, we'll talk about friction, static and dynamic. Then we'll talk about coefficient of limiting friction and its determination, advantages of um, and disadvantage of friction, reduction of friction, qualitative treatment of viscosity and terminal velocity. Talk about Stokes' law. Eight, simple machines. This is a very, very easy topic, okay? In one day. Please check our videos on all of these topics. It's already on our channel, on our YouTube channel, all right? So simple machines, definition of simple machines, types of machines, mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, and efficiency of machines. Nine, elasticity. Talk about elastic limit, yield point, breaking point, Hooke's law, and young modulus. The spring balance as a device for measuring force. Work done per unit volume in springs and elastic springs. Work done per unit volume in springs and elastic springs. Okay? Then, of course, we talk about... Uh, uh, 10, pressure, pressure, okay, force of area, atmospheric pressure, definition of uh, atmospheric pressure, unit of pressure, measurement of pressure, simple mercury barometer, anaerobic barometer and manometer, variation of pressure with high, the use of barometer as an altimeter. Okay, let's make this faster. We'll talk about pressure in liquids. Then number 11, we'll talk about liquids at rest. So look at all these one to four uh, parts. That is the definition Okay, definition of uh, density of solids and liquids, definition of relative density, up trust on the body in mass in the liquid, the Archimedes principle. They talk about temperature and its measurement. Okay, the concept of temperature, uh, thermometric properties, calibration of thermometers, temperature scales, types of thermometers, conversion from one scale of temperature to another. 13, thermal expansion in solids and liquids. 14, gas laws. Boyce's law, Charles' law, pressure law, absolute zero of the, of temperature, general gas equation, ID gas equation, Van der Waal gases. Okay, then uh, fifteen quantity of heat. It has a form of energy. Definition of heat capacity and specific heat capacity of solids and liquids. Determination of heat capacity and specific heat capacity of substances by simple method, uh, e.g., method of mixtures and electrical method and Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling. Very important that part. Newton's of law of cooling. Do not joke with that part. Sixteen change of state. Latent heat specific. Latent uh, heat of friction and vaporization, melting, evaporation, and boiling, the influence of pressure and of dissolved substances on boiling and melting point application in appliances. 17, we talk about vapor that is unsaturated and saturated vapors, relationship between saturated vapor, pressure, SVP, and boiling, termination of saturated vapor, uh, vapor pressure by barometer tube method, formation of dew, mist, fog, and rain. All right. A study of dew point, humidity and relative humidity, hygrometry, estimation of the humidity of the atmosphere using wet and dry bulb hygrometers. 18. Structure of matter and kinetic theory, molecular nature of matter, atoms and molecules, molecular theory, explanation of Brownian motion, diffusion, surface tension, capillarity, adhesion, cohesion, and angles of contact. Examples and applications. Then B, kinetic theory. 
That is assumptions of the kinetic theory, using the theory to explain pressure exerted by gas, Boyle's law, Charles law, melting, boiling, vaporization, change in temperature, evaporation, and the likes. 19. Heat transfer, conduction, convection, radiation as modes of heat transfer, temperature, gradient, thermal conductivity, and heat flux. Effect of the nature of the surface on the energy radiated and absorbed by it, and the conductivities of common materials, the thermos flux, land and sea breeze. You said that land and sea breeze. Okay, engines. 20. Waves, production and propagation of waves. Okay, we talk about wave motion, vibrating system, and the lights. All right. Progressive wave equation also. Then classification, that's the types of waves, mechanical and electromagnetic waves, longitudinal and transverse, stationary and progressive waves. Examples of waves from springs, ropes, stretch strings, and the ripple tank. Then C, you talk about characteristics and properties. That is reflection, refraction, diffraction, and plane polarization, superposition of waves, interference, beats, Doppler effects. Then 21, propagation of sound waves, the, the necessity for a material medium, speed of sound in solids, liquids and hair, reflection of sound, echoes, reverberation and the application, disadvantage of echoes and reverberations. 22, characteristics of sound waves, noise and musical notes, quality, pitch, intensity and loudness and the application to musical instruments, simple treatment of overtones produced by vibrating strings and their colon. Okay, then uh, four, acoustic examples of resonance, Five, frequency of a note emitted by, the, by hair columns in closed and open pipes in relation to their length. 23, light energy, sources of light, natural and artificial sources, luminous and non-luminous objects, propagation of light, speed, frequency and wavelength of light, formation of shadows and eclipse, the pinhole camera. 24, reflection of light at plane and curved surfaces, loss of reflection, application of reflection of light, formation of images by plane, concave and convex mirrors and ray diagrams, use of the mirror formula, very important, use of the mirror formula, linear magnification. <sighs> God, man, you can see how bulky the physics levels is. 25, refraction of light through at plane and curved surfaces. That's explanation of refraction in terms of velocity of light in the media, loss of refraction, definition of refractive index of a medium, determination of refractive index of glass and liquid using Snell's law, real and apparent depth and lateral displacement, critical angle and total internal reflection. Then B, glass prism uses of minimum deviation formula. You must know that formula is very, very important. Okay. Then types of lenses, use of lenses, uh, use of lens formula, magnification also then 26 we talk about optical instruments under this see the principles of microscope telescopes projectors cameras and the human eye physiological details of the eye are not required then two power of a lens three angle is that power of a lens please know it angular magnification near and far points sight defects and their corrections 27 talk about dispersion of light and colors Expression of white light by a triangular prism, production of pure spectrum, color mixing by addition and subtraction, color of object and color filters, rainbow. B, talk about electromagnetic spectrum, description of sources and uses of various types of radiations. 28, electrostatics, that is, it, that is the existence of positive and negative charges in matter, charging a body by friction, contact and induction, electroscope, Coulomb's inverse square law, electric field and potential, electric field intensity and potential difference, electric discharge and lightning, 29 capacitors, types and functions, parallel plate capacitors, capacitance of a capacitor, the relationship between capacitance, area separation of plates and medium between the plates, capacitors in series and parallel energy stored in capacitors, we don't talk about electric cells, number 30, that is simple voltaic cell and its defect. Daniel cell, the clan cell, lead acid accumulator, nickel ion, lithium ion, and mercury cadmium. Maintenance of cells and batteries. Detailed treatment of the chemistry of a cell is not required. Arrangement of cells, efficiency of a cell, then 31, current electricity. Under this, you see electromagnetic force, EMF, potential difference, PD, current internal resistance of a cell, and lost votes. Then we see Holmes law, measurement of resistance, uh, meter bridge, resistance in series and in parallel and their combination, the, poten uh, the potential meter method of measuring EMF, current, and internal resistance of a cell, electrical networks, 32, electrical energy and power, concept of electrical energy and power, commercial unit of electrical energy and power, electric power transmission, 
heating effects of electric current, electrical wiring of houses, uses of fuses, then 33, magnet and magnetic field, natural and artificial magnet, magnetic properties of soft, iron and steel, methods of making magnet and demagnetization, concept of magnetic field, magnetic field of a permanent magnet, magnetic field around the straight current carrying conductor, circular wire and solenoid, properties of the earth magnetic field, north and south poles, magnetic meridian and the angle of dip and declination. Then I talk about flux and flux density, variation of magnetic field intensity over the earth's surface, application, uh, talk about earth magnetic field in, uh, in navigation and mineral exploration. Those are the application, okay, of the magnetic field. Then number 34, force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, all right? So we'll talk about the uh, quantitative treatment of force between two parallel current carrying conductors. Force on a charge moving in magnetic field, the DC motor, electromagnet, carbon microphone, uh, moving coil and moving ion instruments, conversion of galvanometers to ammeters and voltmeter using shunts and multipliers, sensitivity of a galvanometer. Number 35, we we'll talk about electromagnetic induction. Okay, for this laws of electromagnetic induction, factors affecting induced EMF, Lenz law as an, as, <clears throat> pardon, <clears throat> Lens law as an illustration of the principle of conser uh, conservation of energy. AC and DC generators, transformers, the induction coil. Then B, you talk about inductance, that is explanation of inductance, unit of inductance, energy stored in, a, in an inductor, right? Application and uses of inductors, talk about eddy currents, reduction of eddy currents, uh, application of eddy currents. 36, simple AC circuits, all right? All about the simple AC circuit, explanation of AC current and voltage, peak and RMS values, AC source connected to resistor, AC source connected to capacitor, capacitive, uh, capacitive uh, reactance, uh, AC source connected to an inductor, inductor reactance, then uh, six series ROLC circuits, seven vector diagram, phase angle, and power factor, especially that for power factor. Eight resistance and impedance. Uh, uh, that's uh, nine amp effective voltage in arrow LC circuit. Ten resonance and resonance frequency. Number thirty seven will see conduction of electricity through liquids. Okay, through gases. All right. Also, uh, so please uh, take note of that. Thirty nine elementary modern physics. We we'll talk, we'll talk about models of the atom and their limitation. Elementary structure of the atom. Energy levels and spectra. Thermionic and photoelectric emissions. Hastings equation and stopping potential application of thermionic emissions and photoelectric effects, simple method for production of X rays, properties and applications of alpha, beta, and gamma rays, half life and decay constant, simple ideas of production of energy by fusion and fission, binding energy, mass effect, and Hastings uh, energy equation. Talk about wave particle paradox also. Electron diffraction, the uncertainty principle. Number 39. Introductory electronics, distinction between metals and semiconductors and insulators, intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors, uses of semiconductors and diodes in rectification and transistors in amplification, N-type and P-type semiconductors, elementary knowledge of diodes and transistors. Recommended texts, yeah, you can use essential physics, you can use any good app, any good uh, uh, Textbook you have any good physics textbook you have okay doesn't matter to be this one okay you can use the auto school jam app there are lecture notes on the app also already structured according to this syllabus for you all right so you can download the application activate it all the past questions on the app mock exam everything you need to succeed well put them inside the app for you to succeed okay so you can see you can use essential principles of physics numerical problems and solution in physics fundamentals of physics advanced level physics senior secondary school physics comprehensive Certificate physics, all right. Okay, so that is the end of the jam physics or syllabus. Okay, 39 topics in total. You are expected to finish before your jam exam. All right, you think you should be playing right now? That is your decision to make. All right, my advice as the commander of this autodesk army starts now. You have no time to play. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining.